<laughs> hey everyone. What's going on? <laughs> we <laughs> is another awesome episode of Imagination Sessions. I'm hearing myself, so I'm talking very strangely right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super excited about our guest today, Augie Duke. We worked together in the past on this pretty cool space movie, but I get to see her again today, and I can't wait. You guys are going to love her, so I'm going to bring her in right now. Oh, and that's kind of it, right? Yeah. You guys aren't even seeing anything. So. You think I'm crazed. Yes. All right. Anyways, I'm I bringing her in. Oh, I, mean, I thought you were talking to the audience. I thought you were talking to us. Yes. That's what I thought, yes, too. I'm talking to everyone. Bring everyone. Everyone, everyone. Bring Let's bring her in. Let's bring yes. her in. Here we go. Lucky do. Lucky. There we go. There she is. I'm gonna but what? Her. There she is. Long Woo, time no see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our okay. amazing guest. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, <laughs> She's so ready. Guys, I was not <clears throat> very good in school. So this no. is my, my retrial of school. Let's do Don't it Don't worry. That won't be an issue. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, man. Thank you Elizabeth, for joining well, us. You're welcome. Thanks for having Thanks for coming out. This is going to be yeah. awesome. Thanks for having me. So, yeah. And so to all of you out there watching as well, thanks for watching all these imagination sessions. This is our last one of 2020, um, and it's going to be a fun little ride. And Wait, Augie what was that no face? It's like going out <laughs> with a bang. Of course it kind of is, yeah. Out. It's like bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's not sexual. It's not sexual. No, it's not like sexual. Here we go. Fire, th 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 pyro, fireworks, explosions, TNT, C4, Fire, explosions. Yes. Awesome. Fuck pyro. 2020. That's me. all I'm saying. I hear saying. that, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Oh, awesome. Right? <laughs> Great. Awesome. Wait, wait. <laughs> so uh tell me or tell us and everybody, what would people yeah. know you from? Like what are you doing? What are you currently like working on? Uh, I wanna know. This is, this is why I need like a PR agent or something with me constantly to show me off because I hate talking about myself. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> um what am I current like what am I currently working on or what would they know me from? I don't know, Mike. You tell them. <laughs> wait, wait a second. I expect that that's <laughs> fine. What? What did I do? <laughs> no, um, 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 Mike, you're what? hired. That's it. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like a variation of, of everything. Horror, thriller, comedy. <laughs> it's like, who knows? It depends on what you watch, right? I'm also directing yeah. now, which is so weird. Which is amazing. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's putting amazing. on my grown up shoes now. So that's fun. <laughs> How do you like it? You know, it's it's really scary, but it's also really rewarding. So yeah. I I kind of love it. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm doing it. You know, you know the whole saying, "Fake it till you make it." So I'm doing that. That's I'm, awesome. I'm trying to do it, and we'll see if it works out. I've done a I did a short, and then I just did a music video for this punk band called Egg Drop Soup, which is an all girl punk band. Which is oh, cool. nice. Yeah, so it'll come, out, fun. it'll come out next week. I'm excited. I think it's coming out on uh, Christmas. I don't know if anyone's going to watch it on Christmas, but hopefully. Um, yeah, sure. I was like, you cool. post it. We'll watch it. Yeah. Thanks, we'll man. share it. Yeah. Cool. To everyone. Good. Yes. <laughs> we'll share it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a fun. Excellent. It's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been, I, I, you know, there's a couple things coming out. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about. Like, some people are like, don't talk about this film. We're going to wait until you post it. So there's, right. a, I did a film recently, which is I'm really, really proud of with the production called Ninth, Ninth House Film Productions. And they do some really cool films. So I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'm just trying to survive 2020 because holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you're our guest. She's flipping the table. She's like, on board of us. Me. So. They already know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. bored of myself, honestly. I see myself every day in quarantine, just like looking at myself like, wow, get me out of this place. Well, that today really we're going to give you a chance. We're going to get you out of that place today. We're going to give you a chance to, to escape that. How's yes. that sound? I love yeah. it, David. Thank Good you. with that? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. 
So, so an audio jack for those of you that are, don't know that are tuning in, an audio jack is an audio based movie. So you listen to it. There's no words, there's no video, and there's no music. It's hundreds of sounds that are edited together for your imagination. So you close your eyes and you might hear the wind and trees blowing and then you might hear feet running and then they stop and the door opens. Well, your imagination and memory kick on because you have an association to sound, we all do. And then as those start to converge and create a narrative, you get a story. And that's how our imagination works. There's a whole bunch of science behind that and why it's really healthy for you to engage your imagination. And you can go to audiojack.com, learn about it. And our content's used all over the world and a lot of really neat things. In fact, actually, the people over at South by Southwest just hit me up today and asked me to come back and bring Audio Jack for a third year in a row and do something with them. And I'm you know, very excited about that. Cool. Even though it's virtual, I'm still happy. It's really cool um, to be a part of that. So Audio Jack's used in a lot of really interesting ways. And one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to go play with our imaginations, which is something we don't do anymore. You know, everything's given to us. It's in a digital format. It's like, it's all there. We're not running around with like sticks and stones anymore and pretending it's a laser or whatever, you know? And so there's an element to that that's incredibly important for the human mind. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to listen to an audio jack and just let our imaginations go. You're just gonna close your eyes and, and let it go. Whatever you start to create, that's what the story is. These are like audio prompts, if you will. And then we're gonna hear the same audio jack a second time and then you're gonna brainstorm and just start putting your story together. Normally, if you were like in a classroom or something like that, it would play a whole bunch more times while you wrote out a full story and had time to really flesh it out. But for this, this is more of a light version. It's more fun. We're just going to goof off and see what we come up with. And the really neat thing is we're all going to hear the same audio jack, but I have a feeling all our stories are going to be very, very different. You think um, so? And, it would be cool if it was uh, exactly the same. It would be scary as shit. Right? <laughs> that would be really weird. That Watch would be that. like the board. <laughs> <laughs> the collection. Yes, then, yes, exactly. Yeah. And so that's, that's the really fun thing about this is that we get to do this and compare it and engage in it, but there's a whole bunch of really important things that are going on inside our head while we're viewing it. And we can talk about that later, but we want to get into the fun right now and, and let everyone at home who's watching as well, everyone at home, what the hell? we're all at home. No one's at work. This is it. everyone, everyone who has possibly more clothing on than us. Uh, at home, or, or like, but not more or less clothing. I don't know. Like people at home wearing their pajamas are not actually broadcast. Does everyone have um, pants on? You guys are gonna. <laughs> it's like, what is this like? No, I do. I have pants. I have pants, <laughs> like I have pants on. We're doing. <laughs> All right. I'm wearing pants. That was news. Anyway, All right. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're going to go this, but everyone watching, please in the comments, write what your story is as well. And everyone on Viddy space in the chat, um, start writing out your stories and compare to other people and see what you come up with. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump inside the audio jack app and we're going to pick one of the audio jacks and then we're going to, we're going to go from there with it. How's that sound? I feel like I'm back in school. Honestly, it's so nerve wracking. Let's <laughs> do this. <laughs> <laughs> Epic right. fail. I, He's horrified and so excited at the same time. Totally. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I mean, it's going to be really fun because it's about being creative about, you know, you're an actor. So, you know, and also obviously you're creative in a lot of other spaces too. So hopefully this will give you a chance to kind of tap into all of that. Um, I'm excited. I like to say like when you're listening to, when you're listening to an audio jack, you know, you get to be the, the director, the actor, the editor, the writer, the pyrotechnic director, you know, you're really creating the story of what's going to happen. But the question is, does everyone like my story? Who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll love it. We'll Thanks, Elizabeth. I think it'll be great. great. Um, <laughs> it'll be great. Thanks for the support. So here, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. So we're, yeah, here we are. We're inside the audio jack app. There's all these different categories and different things like that to choose from. Um, I thought we would do something uh, a little different. We'd hop into the wildlife category. And, oh gosh, uh, let us oh, remember what bless. I said. I oh, don't hear bless. any monkeys. <laughs> oh, bless. I said, if I start hearing a monkey in my ear, I'm gonna lose it. Oh no, you did not. <laughs> what? I did, I don't know. I missed that combo. So, oh, yeah. yeah uh, it was, <laughs> it was, it's a weird private one, uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, Elizabeth and I have very interesting conversations. So I guess skip um, chimpanzee. So we're not going to do chimpanzee and venture that way. Um, and I was really disappointed because those are chimpanzees. Those are not monkeys. And she specifically said, 
no monkeys. So I said, okay, no monkeys. You know, that's fine. However, elephant has monkeys in it. Her face so, right now. I know. <laughs> yes. just like, I don't know. No, I just didn't think I could me. like sit here with a straight face. That was all. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> don't have to worry about that because we're actually going to do Siberian tiger. Do it. We're doing Siberian tiger. Wow. Okay. We're gonna, Let's do it. Oh, oh, yeah. We're, yeah. Gonna, we're on the. Hunt there you now. go. Yeah. There you go. And this is a shorter one. It's a. It's a quicker one. Some of these go on okay. for fifteen minutes or a little bit longer. But I thought this would be kind of a fun one to uh, to jump in and do and see what we come up with. Um, and so what you're going to do, and then we can talk about this later afterward after. Um, what it is, I mean, um, and more about how it was made and all that stuff. But for the most, for all intents and purposes, everyone at home, everyone else, I'm going to mute our room here. So if there's any weird sounds popping in from elsewhere, uh, it will not uh, mess things up. And let's get this over here. And get that. Where is the chat? There you go. All right, everyone is muted in the room. We'll unmute you afterward. This audio jack is going to play twice. And um, we'll go from there. So just let your imagination go. Just close your eyes. Whatever you come up with, that's what the story is. And I'm going to mute myself as well right now and uh, hit play. Everyone good to go? You guys ready for it? You up for this? Thumbs up? Yeah. Sweet. Looking forward to it. All right. Without further ado, here we go.
that that same audio jack is going to play a second time now. Now fill in the story, start creating your narrative, and seeing what you come up with. And remember, there's no wrong answer. an audio jack back here on smooth imagination sessions i'm your host dave tobin <laughs> you can all unmute yourselves now right <laughs> nice uh, coming after that siberian tiger and then some anita baker <laughs> <laughs> oh my god perfect all right i do love anita baker actually that was calming that was kind of really calming yeah. Right. Yeah. Good <laughs> job, David. Thanks. It was. It was a calm one. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really well, interesting. Know. There's no serial killers in this one. <laughs> well, really. There. <laughs> that's how you look at it. Yeah. Well, that, see, that's the fun of it. it. Yeah, that's the fun of it all. I actually, I actually created, <laughs> I, I, I created a completely different narrative that I never thought of before with this one, and I will share it Ooh. later. 
Ooh. So I'm thinking of that. Yeah. Um, okay. I usually go last, Augie, and being a gentleman, I always like to let the ladies go first. If you would like to start things off, but if not, Mike is always uh, one for going first sometimes, too. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll go first. I'll be the first. Would like to, I, unless Lindsay's ready. Unless Lindsay's ready. Never ready. I'm never ready. Like, I mean, I'm, just, you know, like, I'm, I'm still, I'm still working a little. I mean, it's like it doesn't <laughs> probably make any sense. It's like a stream of writing, so it's like, what the hell? Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about you know? Do you still want to work just... on yours a little? Do you need a noodle a little more? Because if you want, I'll go first. No. Okay. I can. Right. I could just let me just get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let her rip you can't okay. do it wrong um i saw a farm out in texas this is really Ooh. weird probably because of a tiger right sweetwater texas is what i wrote okay um a little girl walks um she goes and walks through her farm she feeds her cows then she goes eye to eye with a tiger in the barn how the fuck did a tiger get there? <laughs> That's what I wrote. What is wrong with me? Um, she's nervous. She's intrigued. That's what I wrote. Uh, there's there's a stare down between the little girl who's like five years old and this tiger. Then the girl runs into the water. The cows freak out. She stands still in the water, like shaking. Um, the tiger follows her, runs out of the, uh, the barn follows her in the water, stares at her. He barely gets into the water. Um, she swims farther out trying to get away from the tiger, but she obviously is really intrigued with this tiger. I think she really likes this tiger. She wants the tiger to like her. Um, then there's lightning. Yes. And then that's the end. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Really? It yeah. was. I yeah. would have never really? thought of like a no, little kid. No, I would have never thought the little girl face. being there. Right. Really? Yeah. 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 That's really that, cool. That's what was so cool about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I feel kind of cool. Okay. And awesome. I loved when you said that she really wanted the tiger to like her. She I was wanted, just yeah. like, oh. Yeah. She's like. It reminded me of Second in Lions, if you've ever seen that movie. Oh, I. What's it called? Second in Lions. Second hand lion. Second hand lions. I'm writing that down. Okay, Wait. Cool. You guys. Has anyone else seen that movie? No. no. Oh my, it's, it's phenomenal. It's uh, Anthony Hopkins with Michael Caine and oh, Haley Joel really? Osment is really young in it. <gasps> it's fan, it's fantastic movie. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth is like, wow. It has one of the best, it's an awesome fight scene. Either. Awesome fight scene, yeah, Secondhand Lions. It's a, it's a drama, it's absolutely wonderful movie. It came out, I think, in late uh, 90s. Is this the one where they have the bar fight also? Yes. The, the younger jump, okay, great movie. Of course movie. Mike would have seen it. <laughs> Bike great movie because okay, the guy he played a, a retired army vet and so these young kids decide to poke poke the bear yeah. so oh, to speak so. Yes. Huh. Uh -oh. but there I'm is watching. a lion in yeah it. there is it's, it's a great movie so it's, but yeah but that story's so cool i mean like the girl what, what did what was the girl wearing what, how old was she like a farm like a like overalls and like little rain boots and just like a farm girl she's there with her mom i say like a single mother just her and her her mom out in Texas in this tiny home that they had from their grandparents or whatever. And she some, somehow a, a tiger gets there and then that's the mystery of the story, but then they become friends in my mind. And then like, that's the thing. And then maybe the tiger dies at the end. I'm not killing the ending, but that's kind of, you know, one of those like emotional <laughs> like, <laughs> old yellow tiger. Yeah. Oh, no. or, not, or not, or maybe she fights to keep this tiger, you know, surviving. I don't know. So that's kind of where I saw this, like, you know, bonding little girl yeah. tiger situation. He just that needs snow. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad that you guys liked it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, liked it. I never yeah, would have cool. thought of, like, a, a child with, like, coming yeah. face to face yeah. with the tiger. That was interesting. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing. See, yes. it's, it's not as tough as you thought. <sighs> Pass. Pass the first class. <laughs> <Pass. laughs> yeah. <laughs> You get it I mean, paper you, today. Well, well, it's funny. Are right, you keep bringing up like school, but like this is now something that's actually used in schools for writing exercises. Could you imagine if we had this as kids or like I in our theater funny. classes? Yeah, it would have been so much better. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. So that's that. cool. Who wants to go Thank next? You. Yeah. Who wants to go next? And talk about their version of Texas. <laughs> I'll go. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So my perspective was I was the actual tiger. 
And so oh, yes. I, it, it was winter. Uh, I had been walking for days. I'm starving. Um, and I come up across this farm down the hill, uh, which I don't think there's cows in Siberia. Could be wrong. But anyway. There are. Siberia's very Oh, big. there are? Okay. Um, so as I'm approaching, there's already a lynx kind of hovering hovering it and looking over and that's why i start growling because i'm getting its attention like uh uh-uh this is my food um so i i growl and the lynx like slowly backs away and then takes off and then um the tiger just goes down real sneakily Uh, but he's being kind of loud because he's hungry he's angry he hasn't eaten and finally he just charges and uh takes down a cow and um yeah. obliterates it <laughs> and um she's like yes, yes. and so <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> dark <laughs> and uh <laughs> he um he takes what he can and then he starts um uh taking the biggest piece with him back up to the hill <laughs> um as a storm starts coming in and uh that's it all right. Oh. I like that, dude. Yeah, that was oh. cool. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Mike is the tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I know. He's like, <laughs> I'm the <a> tiger. <laughs> yeah, the eye of the tiger right there. That wow. is awesome. That is yeah. neat. I like I that. like how nice. there was the links there, too, and you were like, no. Yeah, I like that. Pardon? It makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, nah, son, that it's my sound, food. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> That's off. cool. That's really wow. neat. Wow. I like that. Liz- Lizzie, you want to go? Let's go okay, I, yeah, I can go. I'm not all done, but I'll just, as I usually kind of fudge <laughs> things. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, my brain is, yeah, mush, mushy. I, okay. It's another freezing day on my home planet. I have my own ranch with cattle, and I love it here. On the edge of the property is a cavern I can duck inside to get out of the wind while the herd can get a drink of water. I hear the low growl of a beast that lives in our territory. I've only seen it a handful of times over the 11 years I've lived here. And that's where I got to. I was trying to think what this beast actually looks like. And I was thinking this thing's like at least like 15 feet tall nice um like because first like i just had tiger in the brain and cows and i was just like i don't know how i can make that work so i'm just like i'm just gonna we're gonna go to a different planet and (laughs) and the the beast is just gonna be something crazy and weird um like 15 feet tall for some reason like sasquatch or no, four. see, I, I sit four <laughs> legs in sort of like, like skin like an elephant. Oh. But it would have more like of a tiger head, like saber tooth tiger. Okay. I'm getting an cool. interesting visual. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, you well I, saw this, <laughs> I saw this huge dark like thing and then like these four cows and obviously like it gets one of them and just drags it in. Does it have a weird tongue? Does it have? Would you like it to have a weird tongue? <laughs> it's, got the cra- it's got the craziest <laughs> tongue you've ever seen. It it's forks? got like five tongues. Holy. Oh. <laughs> totally makes me think of Bollywood. Like this would be a Bollywood oh, yeah. movie. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah he, I was actually, the way you described it, I was thinking of, uh, do you ever you seen the comic or cartoon Ruby? R W B Y? Does anyone know that? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Never mind then. God, you're cool. No, really sorry, cool. David. We're like, we're, he, I'm like, he, he knows <laughs> don't help like you everything ever. that's out there. Right, maybe you I just think it, maybe. Maybe it's lame stuff that I'm into. I don't know. It's by Rooster Teeth. You should know them. They're a big production company. Or I know Rooster Teeth. Yeah, R W B Y. Check it okay. out. It's cool. But anyway, anyway, uh, it reminded me. It reminded me the way you were describing. It reminded me a lot of that world. So. Oh. Cool. Interesting. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm nice. Kind of See the what the heck that is. I like that you had a ranch as well too, because Augie had that too, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. Huh. We all were. See? I was just like, 
Well, I think it's the Weird cows. Planet. Have a <laughs> yeah, I mean, come it's on, like... it's the cows. Where else do you see yeah. a dead cow? <laughs> <laughs> Farm ranch, you know? It's like... <laughs> yeah, you automatically think like farm ranch for sure. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. Nice. If you live in the States, woods, you know, you probably cow. don't see many wild ones. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I saw a wild bull in Mexico. That was interesting. It was scary, but. Okay. No. I like I it. Elizabeth, you, you want to go or you want me to go? Um. I would yes, rock, paper, bit. scissor, maybe. All right, Ooh, let's try it. Right. Rock, yeah. paper, let's scissor, make it rock, paper, paper, scissor, shoot. Go. Oh, oh. God. Oh, I feel like that was so late. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted times. to go. Okay, go. I wanted to go next. Best of three. Oh, you did? You know? okay. okay. Yeah. And we I didn't we do the lizard shoot. Spock. That yes. Do, yeah. yeah, what is that? What is, I know, I know, I don't know the other two so... that have been added. Lizard, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, lizard, scissors. Doesn't lizard poison Spock? Yes. And Spock does something to the rock, maybe. Something. Vaporizes yeah, okay, the now. rock, maybe. Someone out there knows the whole spiel. <laughs> Someone Big to go back theory, and watch. We can Big Bang Theory. Yes, I haven't heard of that. Big, Big Bang, Bang theory. theory. A friend of mine has a shirt that has yeah, that on it. Yeah, it has all the ways. The diagram. Which... Yeah. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, I would just, oh. I would just go Spock. Just don't be the lizard. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> the hand signal for the lizard. I know this. I think he did. Really? That yeah. or something? I don't know. Something yeah, it like poisoned Spock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like attacks. It's like little bunny <laughs> right here. Oh, yeah, it's it's just head. No, I'm just joking. Him on the head. <laughs> See, Augie, we just oh hang out God. and get weird. This is so I, knew, about, oh, I know Bunny Poo Poo. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'll tell you mine. I'm so lost right now. <laughs> I'm like, I think all over tired today. Like, before we yeah. started, we were all, like, kooky already. This week uh, this week flew yeah. by so fast. I can't believe it. it's Friday. I feel like we were just here with Jason, like, yesterday. Yeah, like, it, it really feels, feels like Oh, my like, God, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I watched my story. It was oh. hilarious. <laughs> that was a fun one yeah. wow yeah. Uh, <laughs> so for mine it was uh it was different so i made so i just Augie, i make a lot of the audio jacks we also have a team of staff here that makes a lot of them uh this is when i made it i try to divorce myself from the story that i had in mind when i make it so i can share because i don't want you to tell i don't want to tell people what it really was um because then it ruins it you know whatever so i actually came up with a narrative on this one that was actually really interesting it was um probably like early 20s, early 20s, 1900s kind of era. Oh, cool. It's in Southern si southern Siberia, near the Sea of Japan area, like, you know, east, way far east Asia. And um, it was a guy, it was from a first person. And I don't know the ethnicity of him, but he looked Mongolian, if we'll go with that kind of route. But I know, obviously, they were native to other parts of the region, but obviously spread everywhere, but still. Someone who kind of has that, you know, kind of imagine your typical kind of like Mongolian warrior, a lot of fur, heavy, that Eskimo kind of vibe. And he's there and we, the camera, like I kind of filmed this, I, I saw this like in shots of, a, of like a film or something. So just bear with me. But like the camera's kind of like close on him and you see his face and he's just kind of stoic and then like snow's catching on his beard or whatever. And he's just kind of there watching and it's gray and foggy and cold and there's a lot of trees but he's kind of on this kind of edge that's going down and he's just kind of looks like he's been sitting there a while like snow is kind of collected in his jacket and stuff you can see he's been sitting there for a while and then the camera kind of pans and shifts a little bit and we're seeing like there's a little bit of a ravine down below and then there's a actual siberian tiger next to him that's also just kind of sitting and looking the same way and they're connected they're it's not his pet but it's his their companions of each other Oh, cool. And they're perched kind of up above and they're just waiting and waiting. And then like, you kind of look back and you see like, they're probably, I want to say like 15 feet up or so, maybe 10 feet up. And then there's a river cut through down below, like a smaller river. And then on both sides of it, like they're up high here, drops down, it's flat. Then there's the river and then there's another wall. So it's kind of a Canyon area and they're waiting and waiting. And then they start to hear, 
uh, deer in the background and they're kind of whining and bah, making those weird sounds or whatever. And they're kind of, the deer you can see is kind of being funneled in this area. And then there's a guy behind it. He's more modern dressed and he's on a horse and he had been kind of pushing the, the deer through this area. And the backstory is that he actually stole all this livestock from somewhere else and they were going to go um, kill all these deer that were actually used in a different region for not to be eaten, but were actually used for like work and stuff like that. And they were treated with in the community. And so this guy had come in and stole a deer or whatever. And so it's a story about watching these guys wait there. And then all of a sudden, like they get to a point and then the tiger kind of gives them a look. They both look at each other and then they spring into action and they jump down and they jump on him. And instantly the horse takes off and knocks him off. And before the guy can even like pull out a gun or anything like that, like the tiger is just done with him and just totally just decimates him. And then all the deer are kind of there and then they walk off and they leave. And then uh, our main character is there next to it. He kind of picks up any other supplies or whatever while the, the tiger is having its meal. But he's not really concerned with the guy. It's not like any, like, he's not addressing him. It's almost like the guy didn't even exist. Like, he, it was just another way of life for him. Like, just, you know, fuck this guy. He's not important to us. So they took some of the supplies and just left him there. And then the tiger and him kind of walk off in the distance and the camera drops back. And you see, like, depressed in the snow, like, the corpse that had been, like, eaten. So you don't really see this bloody mess, but you see it, like, kind of hidden in the snow where the guy's body was. And then kind wow. of in the foreground, and then they walk off in the distance. And uh, that's what I came up for that one. Wow. Oh. Okay, why don't you just shoot this fucking thing? I was like, that actually was like a movie. <laughs> we were all like so quiet listening to you. Yeah. It was like a full blown feature right there that you need to just do. Nice. You yeah. Get right on, Augie. Just nice. go to South Africa because it's a little safer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't have snow. Oh, right. Duh. There's that. Hey, we'll do it. We'll do it. Snow. We'll fix it in post. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's why I came up with yeah, that one. Was... It was, uh, was kind of like, it was, it was calming. But like both of you, a couple of you mentioned, like it was a really calming audio, Jack. And it is. Even though there's like some violence taking place <laughs> or per perpetually. But it's that tone of it. And that's what gave me the idea of him. Like, because like I've done a lot of martial arts my whole life. And a lot of it is about like controlling yourself so when you're in the middle of a fight you're you don't get excited you're just operating within that space you know and so i kind of feel like that calmness in the middle of the chaos these guys the, him and his tiger had that like they had this presence where it's like just moving through instead of kind of i reacting. like the relationship that everyone's building with the you know the tiger yeah. and you know a certain person or or not or mike being the tiger yeah <laughs> Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> That's his <laughs> oh, it's so scary. Now it's frightening. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Elizabeth? What was your relation to yours? Yes. Okay, well. Oh, Mongolian man was wearing what? fur. I swear to God. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Are you serious? No. Yeah. So wow, we can hang out. We gotta I stop hanging out. We I told you. I told you this was gonna happen. <laughs> I know, and you even said, "Does not that ever happen?" Oh, oh shut up! What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. This is so weird. You were uh, what? what? So the this? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. So he has this tiger. I, you could say pet tiger. I put pet tiger, but it did feel like you said more like a. This is somebody that he travels with. It's like a companion of his. My God, this so, is like. <laughs> what is happening? I imagine this guy though was ostracized a bit from wherever, like the tribe that he used to be with, or the group of people that he used to be with, and therefore he was living out in the wilderness now. So he was very stoic and. I don't know. It would just be like if you were to take a screenshot into someone's life for a moment is what I got a vibe from in this Ooh. piece. And so he's there walking through the wilderness. His tiger hears something in the distance. Um, 
but he's not startled by it because he's used to him, you know, roaming off and coming back. It doesn't worry him, although I imagine it would worry a lot of people if your tiger goes too far. <laughs> <laughs> but for him... My tiger was on Ventura <laughs> last night, tiger. and yeah, I yeah. was not having it. <laughs> but for him, uh, he was... You could tell that this was normal for him. And the tiger goes down to where there's this watering hole, and... Uh, he starts to get closer, like he's, you know, stalking his prey. He's hungry. They probably haven't eaten in a while. Um, and then there was the attack as the, <laughs> on the cow, like Mike had. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So then he goes, yeah, so he's wrestling this cow in the watering hole. And um, I feel like for a moment there, you could hear like the shredding of the teeth against the whatever it was biting into, and then slowly drug it out. And then after a few moments later, um, he's just going back to his guy, um, blood dripping onto the snow as he walks back. And then they just go off into the distance with the storm coming in. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Oh my you guys have God. this is a little crazy. Like it's that was like <laughs> like this two stories you guys have can be combined. I know. <laughs> David's yeah. like, whoa. It could be different parts of the same story, totally. Yeah, different aspects. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. percent yeah. Wow. All right, Elizabeth, we gotta make a movie now. Yeah. Okay. 100%. <laughs> we all do. I mean, we could put all yeah, this yeah. story together. It's very interesting. Oh, absolutely. It'd make an interesting film. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you could take a lot of elements from these things and put them together. I mean, if you think about yeah. the way these stories are told, it's really interesting. Yeah. Perspective. Especially like, you know, the tiger could have, like, you could suddenly, if we wanted to keep, you know, the story from like Augie, some of her elements in it, you know, just take it and put the location in Eastern Asia. You know, yeah, then, or make the man oh. be a young girl that's been surviving on her own, like Hannah. Yeah. Yeah, anyone watch oh, Hannah? Yes. Hannah. Nice. Good one. Yeah. 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 yeah that'd be great. She rad. is badass. That's really cool. I just thought yeah. somebody bought the tiger from there and then brought it back to a farm in Texas. Like one of those ass, like, what's that documentary? Oh. That the oh, yeah. ti- you know what I mean? So they Tiger King. Have all these tiger King. So the movie vibes. transitions from that guy with the tiger to losing that tiger to him now living on a farm and being lonely to then being friends with this little girl. So the transition. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Do you know what I mean? So it takes cool the yeah. whole story yeah. from where you guys are filming to this farm in Texas, and it's about this tiger and his relationships with these two people. Yeah. And now I picture Chad Lindbergh doing his Tiger King impression. I do. Now, yes, now I'm looking. Yes. Now, now I feel, yeah. Like so now we know who plays the guy. With we already know who plays the tiger. Yeah, Mike. 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 PGI. <laughs> booked it. Mike booked it. <laughs> yeah, Can totally you imagine those out. sound effects? Like you see, like the real tiger, like pounce, and then you Wait hear a minute. Arr. We just have we to put... make the movie and pretend like we're totally serious. Hold on. Yes. I'm serious. I would actually yeah, do yeah. this. Well, we with, even with Mike cast as the tiger, though. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> we take it very seriously. Yes, that is a serious tiger. Like, why did you guys, like, everything is filmed very cinematically. And then all of a sudden, you see <laughs> Mike <laughs> coming. <It's> like, <laughs> And you have to be you smiling, imagine? like, like breaking character the whole time. Like, just, oh, like. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, yeah, this film's going to be so good. It's going to be really good. All of a sudden, it might be a tiger one. <laughs> oh, my God. You get that opening <laughs> shot, though, of, like, the shot of each hand coming into frame like this, and you don't yes. know what it is, and it's coming up. <laughs> it starts to come up, and then it's like, hi. <laughs> hey, shit. guys. That's actually hi really guys. funny. Oh. Oh, I would yeah. do either or. Oh, oh my That's awesome. God. That's really cool. That. So, uh. I won't tell you uh, the actual element of this, but um, those were real sounds of a Siberian tiger, just so you know. That is those awesome. were actual sounds of a Siberian tiger. So, Augie, with these, um, everything you hear, it's hundreds and hundreds of sounds edited together to create that story. There wasn't a microphone left out where all this happened, and it was directed around it. These are all placed to create that narrative. Um, that why 
there's no wrong answer. It's whatever, you know, you want to create that narrative. But I use authentic things, especially in the wildlife section, because we work with a lot of wildlife organizations um, and uh, the World Wildlife Fund, the Humane Society, the National um, Ta Foundation, all sorts of things like that. And they use this for education so people can feel like they're animals and understand animals in different uh, ways of life and things like that. So this is incredible. Stuff. They should be doing this in school, honestly. They should. They are. They are now. They they are now, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's, I mean, Some obviously, I want it in it, yeah. every school. Yeah, right. I mean, it's used. I mean, we're supported by the. I mean, the California uh, Department of Education has brought Audio Jack to tons of schools. Several school districts brought it. I mean, it's all it's it's all over. But also, it's crazy on finding it. Like, what's crazy is actually something just happened recently this week. Um, I try to be better at using Instagram for Audio Jack, and I'm kind of decided I'm going to do a couple different things in the new year with it. But I was going through and I was looking at notifications, you know, like who's liked what or whatever. And I saw like this thread going of all these people going, oh, I love it too. I use it here. And I had no idea who these people are. And I looked and it's all these teachers uh -huh. on some other woman's chat. And she was like, oh yeah, she had tagged Audio Jack in a story saying I did this with the kids today. The results were awesome because there's activities inside the app and stuff. Wow. Yeah. And all these other teachers were like, blah, 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 blah. And they were all from, I think it was Tennessee. And I've like I don't know. You had no idea, right? Yeah. Oh, Get that's that, so Jack. Cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get that Jack, yo. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah, really it cool. is. Yeah, it's used for. It's also you know used for us because we're on screens all the time right now, and for everyone out there, you know, it's like you're on a screen all day long. You're being told all this stuff to close your eyes and engage your imagination. It actually refreshes your mind. That's the science behind this. Mm. It gives you a form of REM activity which wow. reduces stress and anxiety and then oh. in turn prevents you from getting depression and insomnia later. And there's a wow. whole bunch. We've worked with UC Riverside's brain program. We're doing a whole other study with other programs right now too that I'll talk about next year. But there's a bunch of stuff. We do a lot of science on this, on, on the imagination in general and why it's really important, whether it's music or art, but Audio Jack has some other key components in the way they're made to be able to elicit that and give you that. Wow. Kind of so you're so saying like, we should be doing this every day, basically. Yeah. I want to do this every day now. <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you and your, yeah. Well, like yeah, you and your dude. Like, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like you and your man, you could listen to the same one and then compare your stories. Yeah. Or, well, then I'm going to get all competitive. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's your story? Ugh. Oh, could you see me? Sorry. I just want to. <laughs> 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 that's amazing oh my god yeah yeah it is it's a great tool it's a great way to take a break from everything like that but i mean the really neat thing is is seeing exactly what we just did here you know the five of us got a chance to hang out and have a, a ton of fun for over an hour and we were yeah. using our imaginations it's already been an hour that's yeah that's impressive mm -hmm. I did not know that because I've been on shows and I'm like, oh God, this is taking forever. This, this, this on the other yeah, hand, yeah. not at all. So, hey, yeah, this, this flies awesome. by pretty quickly. It really yeah, does. It's super fun. I yeah. can't wait to hear other people's stories, right? Because people link in and, and write there what they think that they heard, right? As well. Some yeah. In the live yeah. chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's some in the chat in the chat on the different uh, apps that are making their comments yeah. about it they, but a majority oh, of it's cool. on but a majority of it's on viddy space where we're broadcasting live right. hi viddy spacers uh out there to the awesome space. and they've got their chat going it's too. but yeah but it's also a great thing like you can run this with your own friends i mean it's just it's a great thing that you can kind of play with 100 percent, i'm going to yeah yeah. That's awesome. And you're my neighbor, Sweet. which is awesome. You live down the street, which is crazy. That's, yeah. Let's That's talk crazy. about audio. Let's go have a coffee and talk about audio. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or let's make this motherfucking movie. I'm not even kidding. This yeah, is like a I great do idea. It. Do it. Mike, I yeah, guess. see. Uh, yep, yep. The tiger. It, are there it any happened. animals on face? face you gotta, I got to get into character. <laughs> are they, <laughs> yes, I wish we, yes, yes. I wish we could put a tiger over your face right now. Like this is the perfect time. Jeez, I, I think David probably can. I mean, can. I can. Yeah. Wait, he's I mean, like trying. But you won't be able to see it. Everyone else would be able to. <laughs> That's okay. Ooh, I, I mean, was like, there's been I mean, times when David's been putting masks. Yeah, oh, there you yeah. go. Well, Wait. that's not a tiger. Like I don't know how you do that. I am. There's a. It's in the air thing. It's oh, just, that's. Oh no! That's wild, your movie. Wild boar. That's your movie! Oh, no, quick. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Lindsay's the only one that will understand that. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was just freaked out. I was yeah. like, oh, God. No, 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 no
Yeah, a, yeah, I think a pizza or a party hat. Yeah, a pizza hat. Oh, that's a, a pizza that's party a, hat. That's, that's, that's a cute. Is that? <laughs> is that a toothbrush? Oh, that that's what I need. That's <laughs> loading. That's that loading. Oh. That's what I need, like, on my head all the time. Like, not quite there oh. yet, folks. Well, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, that works. Before. Yep. Holy. <laughs> Well, yeah, silver. Away. There's yeah. no tiger. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. This was a blast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really oh, is. Yeah. It's super yeah, fun. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Take the shades. He just yeah. keeps going. I can't turn it off. There it is. <laughs> That's I was trying fitting. To... Yeah. I forgot. Oh, I forgot to plug something, and I feel like I have to. Yeah. Um, right. Do it. So a film I'm really proud of. The trailer just came out today. It's called 645. It's like a Groundhog's oh. Day thriller horror. It just came out Ooh. today, and I was like such an idiot. I was like, I should plug that. So six. <laughs> six... <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing at this like promote myself situation. Um, 645 movie. Check that out. Check it out. Sweet. 645. Awesome. Yeah. Google. Get the trailer. Watch it. Right. See, this is why I need Elizabeth. I love you. Yeah, 645. It's awesome. It's badass. It's coming out. Augie Duke, she's amazing. Here she is. Look her up. Watch her shit. Damn. Oh, you guys are you guys are awesome. This was fun. fun. You yeah, are. You're, we'll fun. Come back anytime. If you want to do this again, we're gonna be picking these back up in the new year. If you ever want so to join tomorrow, us tomorrow, I'm gonna come in tomorrow and we're gonna do. Yeah, this. we're just, like, so <laughs> putting us to work on Saturday. <laughs> Weekend Wait edition. She's like, "What are you doing in five minutes?" Because <laughs> totally. That's awesome. This no, is wonderful. Not. Yeah, this is great. Great way to end the year. Super fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Thank you guys. And yeah, hopefully 2021 thanks, will be better. Oh, yes. yes. We're different. <laughs> That's the way we're going to end it. We're different. Well. <laughs> yeah, 2021 is going to rock. It's going to be different. awesome. And thank you all for all of you out there watching and joining us here and taking back your imagination because it's really damn important. And uh, yeah. thank you, Elizabeth, for putting this together and Mike and Lindsay for joining us. This is thank absolutely you wonderful. Guys. Um, it's a pleasure. And I can't wait to see what the new year brings. Yes. Yes. Yep. Thank you all. Thanks, Augie. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you, Augie. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.